Hello, hello, Tammy Cinematics Games. Welcome. Um, if you've been here for a bit, welcome back. If you're new here, hello. I'm Tammy Cinematics Games. I knit, dye, spin, crochet, weave, sew, crafty things. My dog is interrupting me, but the doors are closed, so they can't come in here right now because their feet are covered in mud. <sighs> Gotta wash the dog's feet. That's fun. That's fun. Um, apologies for not being here last week. Um, cause you know, I try to do these every two weeks. I had really bad migraine or I thought a really bad migraine last weekend. Um, but yesterday I had the migraine to end all migraines. <laughs> um, I mean like I'm used to them, but yesterday, got really bad. Even though I medicated, I got ill, <laughs> couldn't keep my food down. I got dizzy. I, yesterday sucked. And I still have the remnants of that headache today. Like technically I still have a migraine. I just medicated about an hour ago and it's taken the edge off enough that I think I can do this today. Um, I also have an MRI scheduled for today, so I need to be able to function. <laughs> So I can't medicate, but so much because I have to drive um, into the city to go get my MRI. And yes, they do them on Sundays. Um, my shoulder is still not back to 100%. I've had, I think I told you guys, I had one injection for the rotator cuff. And then I had an injection two weeks, three weeks ago, three weeks, three weeks ago into the actual shoulder joint like an ultrasound guided injection and it's still not better. So I have to get an MRI. Who wants to bet that I tore something like I did with my wrist? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, anywho, let's get into the things, shall we? Cause I don't know how long this is going to let me do things and I don't want to talk, but so much, and I don't want to sit under this light, but for so long, I want to go lay down and chill until I need to leave the house. Anyway, finished object. Uh, have not blocked it yet. <laughs> this is the Ravenswood sweater. I'll put the designer here and I love it. It was originally going to be long sleeved, but I think I mentioned to you guys last time that I find this yarn a little bit itchy, um, which I'm hoping will go away with blocking. Like I'm, I'm thinking maybe my swatch because my swatch was really soft. I think I just need to wash it and it's fine. And if that's the case, at some point, I might go back and add all the sleeves and things. Um, oh, let me get that. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, I like it, fits great. It makes me happy. I, I think this might be my new favorite garment. Yes. Um, my other favorite garment was the Copperhead tee. Um, uh, but I can't fit into that right now. <laughs> so yeah. And the woodland sweater with a little bear on it that's made in the same yarn. I have to frog it, you guys. I have to frog it. Too chubby for it. <laughs> so I I'm frogging it now. It's taking a little bit because you know the color work part is I have to unfrog it from the gray part and it's just taking a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm very sad about it, but you know, I think it might work out because maybe I want to make the cardigan because it's in the book as a cardigan. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me see if I can grab it without knocking everything over on oh, my shoulder. <laughs> see, it hurts to like lift the thing. It's pain in the ass. Um, let's see if I can find it in here. Work with me, Woodland Sweater by Anna Joanna. That's not a good picture. It's the sweater, but that's not a good picture of it. Find a good picture. Well, there's not a good picture, but that sweater that I made with the bear on it is supposed to be a cardigan. Um, I had modified the color work chart a bit like I printed it out and made it big and did some rearranging and whatnot because this is supposed to be a fingering weight sweater and I was doing it on DK so I had to modify it and then I had to modify it to make it fit me 
and yeah maybe I'll just do it as written next time because I really do like the bear and the trees and all the things although when you think about it why is the bear as large as the tree is it walking through a baby tree forest I don't know um yeah anywho <laughs> that's this finished object you know what else I finished my um I finished the shawl I was making the brioche shawl my first time doing brioche it is by Melanie Berg it's the abuelito yes and I did not do the lace I was gonna here's the thing I decided once I finished like the brioche part that I was gonna do the lace and then I tried to do the lace and then I got frustrated and frogged it and then started all over again and frogged it and started all over again and I was like you know what I'm done <laughs> so <laughs> there is no lace um I'm never gonna wear it here's the all right this is the third Melanie Berg shawl that I've made and the, the edge so tight and it's like that on every single one. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but the edge is so tight. You can see it, the way it ripples, it's so tight. Don't like that. Um, and I'm never gonna wear this because it looks stupid because I don't wear shawls. But if I try to do the thing where you like crisscross it in the back and tuck it in, it looks stupid. <laughs> I don't like it. So I'm never gonna wear it. I'm thinking about frogging it. I, whatever but like see how you see all the colors peeking through and then the fun side I love the fun side isn't it pretty isn't it pretty but it's like super v-shaped um which I thought would help me wear it you know because that's my hair <laughs> you know I just I can't make it look good on me I mean, I'm just not a shawl person um anyway I haven't blocked this yet either, but what I did is I went back and I added a little strip of color here, lighting, in stockinette, and then I did like a little crochet border. There, you can see it a little bit. Um, but I need to block it or frog it. We'll see which one I do. I'm just glad that I did this. I did have a few issues of dropping stitches and getting completely confused, but I mean, it works. I did it. I accomplished it. That was the whole goal. <laughs> and reminder, this is Malabrigo Rios. What's the color? Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Chameleon and chameleon and Yarnaceous hematite. So these two. There you go. That's finished. I'll put that back later. And then it gets stuck like right there. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? The pop. That's fun. Um <laughs> does not feel good anyway I made a blanket you guys this blanket took me like less than a week less than a week I finally finished a blanket this is the Mexican blanket by two of wands I'm in love with it and I'm gonna make more um and that's pretty much what my acquisitions is made up of is blanket yarn you guys I love this so much I don't know if I'll be able to show it because I can't hold it up because it makes my shoulder hurt Look it. It's small. Look it. Ta-da! Look what I did. Isn't it pretty? Do you love it? Doesn't it remind you of like, you know, Mexican blanket? Like a Baja? Do you remember those? Do they still make those? It was the itchiest, warmest thing to wear when I was in high school. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I added this extra color. That color's not supposed to be in it. Because it's a four color pattern but I added green just to make it a little fun. Isn't it great? Oh, you love it? Theo loves it. So Theo likes my knitting, but not my weaving. Um, I love this so much. Like I said, I'm gonna make another one. But hey man, finished object. And like I said, it's not very big. It's like a throw. I didn't measure it. I haven't blocked this yet either, but you know, it's a blanket. I don't need to block it. <laughs> Screw it. I might throw it in the washer because it's woolies 
Um, anyway, blankets. Blankets. <laughs> Love it. It's a little chilly here today, so this is delightful. Um, chilly for Texas. What did I use? I used Woolies. Should have put this in front of me and set it to the side. For some reason, this hurts going to the side more than it hurts going to, I don't know. My body's falling apart. All right, so the black is black. Woolies, uh, thick and quick. Woolies, thick and quick. I used black. See, in the pattern also, I don't think that, well, maybe my knitting is, I didn't really pay attention to gauge, but I used less yarn than the pattern called for. Um, this one is, oh, and I found out that the patterned looking thick and quick has less yardage than a regular thick and quick. Like this is 106 yards and this one is 87 yards. Um, but this color is River Run, like Game of Thrones, River Run, right? And the green I used, I think the tweeds are also smaller. No, the tweeds are the same as the solid color. Um, this one is kale. This is one that has tweed in it. Uh, and then this one is charcoal. And my main color, and one of the reasons I ended up using Thick and Quick was because this was on clearance. Um, this is marble. Isn't that beautiful? 87 yards. Isn't that so pretty? And is that all four colors? Five colors that I used? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's what I used for this loveliness. Um, and here's what I'm going to use for the next one. I have no whips. Well, I have plenty of whips. Y'all have seen all of the whips. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make another one. It's another charcoal. I got this yesterday because Lion Brand was on sale at Joanne. Uh, buy two, get one free. So, <laughs> and I had a 20% off coupon. Yes, please. All right, so this one I'm going to make, I had to go to two different stores because the first store I went to was out of black. So I'm gonna use black again. Black's gonna be my main color. For this one, white was my main color. Like the marble was my main color. Um, I'm gonna use black because of course I am. All right, so that. And then the tweed I'm gonna use, like you don't have to get a tweed. This is just how I decided to do it. This is graphite, okay. It's gonna be one of my colors. And then this reddishy orange gorgeousness is spice, right? Okay. And then, then this is called oil slick. Look at all those colors. I need these, right? So, okay. So, all right. So if you're looking at this one, all right. So it's going to be black is my main color. The diamonds and stuff are going to be in the spice color. And then this bit here is going to be these. Yeah? Yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. I'm gonna probably going to cast that on today. Um, and I'm going to make it double the size of this one. I'm excited. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Like I said, I bought this yarn yesterday and before that happened I went to Juju's fifth anniversary party Juju Knits is a lovely yarn shop in Fort Worth um let me grab this because I've got this there I went to their fifth anniversary party thing their fifth anniversary sale and I finally met Mesa Skeins. <laughs> how, how long have I been knitting now? And being in the vicinity, we finally ran into each other because she works at Juju's now. So I got to finally meet Mesa Skeins. She's taller than I thought she was. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've seen her. I saw her last year at DFW Fiberfest, but she had so many people around her because she had a booth last year 
so I didn't go in to say hello, but this year <laughs> got to see her at Juju's. So now I know her. I've seen her in person. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I went to Juju's fifth anniversary thing and I bought yarn there to make a blanket, but being me, I shop with my eyes. And while I love the yarn, it's not super wash. And with the dogs, I don't think that's going to work, y'all. Because <laughs> muddy feet. I need to be able to wash things regularly, you know. Because like the blankets I use on the couch and the end of the bed now, I wash all the time. Like sometimes two, three times a week because dogs. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this at all. Um... So now I'm thinking I might make a striped duster or something, like a little cardigan. I, I don't know. Because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this yarn now. I don't want to return it because I like it. Or I could make a blanket. I could still make a blanket, but I'll make it for my spinning chair. Because they don't sit in the spinning chair because that room is closed off unless I'm in there spinning. All right, so this is Cascade Grande, Cascade 220 Grande from Cascade Yarns. This color is super pretty. I bet you it doesn't have names. It does not. Um, color, I'm sure on some website they do have names, but 9451. It's a really pretty heathered green teal blend, a little gold in there. Isn't that pretty? And dude, it's... 200, 220 yards. Yes, please. All right, so I got this. Right, the, this was how the blanket was gonna go. This was gonna be my main color. This is color 4002, right? Isn't that pretty? And being Cascade, I think this would probably be a charcoal, right? So that was gonna be my main color. This is gonna be my accent color for the diamonds. And then these are gonna, these were gonna be my background colors. This is color 8400, right? Okay. And color 8401. Wouldn't that have been a really pretty blanket? Wouldn't it have been? Yes. Okay. So again, before I realized it was non-superwash, I realized they had this yarn on Jimmy Bean's website because they didn't have any black at Juju, so I was looking for some black. I got the black from Juju's, color 8555, not Juju's, <laughs> from Jimmy Beans. <laughs> they start with the J. Um, 8555, and then this heathered blue. Love it. It's like blue and purple, 9449. Look at that. So, okay, here's what I'm thinking. If I do make this a blanket, I can make it a stripey blanket or um, what's that? That sweet shop blanket, a quilting look blanket, and it can go on my spinning chair. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. Cause these colors are great. They're nice, cool colors. And you know, they're my favorites, grays, blacks, and blues, right? Right? Or like I said, I can make it a giant duster, like a stripey duster or something. I don't know. I wouldn't do stranded color work because it's already super thick and double thick would just be awful. Um, so it would probably be mosaic, if anything. But uh, isn't it pretty? <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now. It's going to go in the collection. We'll see what happens. It's just going to sit in here and be pretty for a bit. <laughs> okay. The other thing I got to use <sighs> was from... Is it Joy Electric? My brain. I'll put it here. Soot Sprites. Soot Sprites. Look, and they're, and they're holding crafty things, right? And then Totoro's on the other side. And they're cute. I didn't need it, but yeah, she's having a trunk show. And look at the inside print. No faces in there. Look, look, look. Is that a sewing machine? Yes, no face with a sewing machine. Adorbs. I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Isn't it cute? Okay. So bought that. 
And again, Joanne Spree yarn was on sale. This yarn <laughs> was 40% off. So it ended up being $10 a skein. I might go get some more, you guys, because I'm thinking I might be able to make a sweater out of this one. Um, this is KC Yarn, Knit Crochet Yarn. It's KC Splendid Superwash. It's 100% Superwash Merino, 150 grams, bulky weight. Look at it. It looks like it's just like roving style, like a single ply with just a little thread wrapped around it to make it a two ply. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like if you guys can see it. See? Okay, so I got this one. This one's Mountain Mist, okay. And Grape Hyacinth. This next one I got for Hat. Climbing Ivy. And Teal Splash. So I got these to go together. These to go together. Aren't they pretty? Look, look at all the pretty colors in this one. Right? 10 bucks a skein. 10 bucks a skein. It's like buying Cascade, right? It's super soft. I mean, it's it's merino. It's super soft. Hats, maybe. But again, I'm thinking about maybe getting a sweater quantity of this one. Because wouldn't that be wouldn't that be a nice sweater? Nice bluish gray. Anyway, so I got that. And I got another knitting dictionary. I have what, four now? I don't know. <laughs> the new knitting stitch dictionary. And I just like how it's done. Like there's color work in here. Look at that. Right? Charts. Yes, please. Got that. And then after I finished this lovely Mexican blanket, I decided to buy this book. This is the Mosaic Chart Directory for Knitting and Crochet by Anna. This is gonna be totally butchered. Nikki Pirowitz? I don't know. That's the name right there. Okay, this is lovely. Again, it's for both knitting and crochet. And it has, I don't want to show all the things, swatches in both knit and crochet for you to look at. And it's got written instructions along with the chart. So way back here, written instructions and a chart. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I wish there were more. I'm picky. I, I wish there were more patterns. But I mean, there's 75 in here, but I want like super intricate ones. Um, but still, this is really cool. I really like it. Again, I like that it's both. I've never done mosaic crochet, so that's a thought. That's that. I don't have that many acquisitions this time, you guys. <laughs> Go me. Um, something else I bought. Have I forgotten something? Wouldn't be a first time. Um, no, I had that already. Huh, I thought I bought something else. Am I crazy? Yes. <laughs> I don't remember. I bought something else. I don't know, whatever. If I find it, I'll show it to you next time. <laughs> All right. Now, you guys may also remember I had an October box to open and I was waiting on it and I was going to show it to you guys last weekend, but I wasn't here last weekend. This was from Ex Libris Fibers. This is the Grim Gardens box for October. Dark and spooky. Love it. Aren't they pretty? All right. Let's see if I can do this without hurting my shoulder. 
just gonna scoot a little closer. All right. Got, this is also, this is yak. Um, so it's the yak base. It's 70, 20, 10. So merino yak nylon. I'm trying to remember what's the what's. Fox glove. Oh, and it says what things are from. There's stuff on here. Rappuccini's Daughter from Nathaniel Hawthorne. I know that author. Okay, Foxglove, Aconite, Hecate, or Hecate, however you say it. Um, Poppy from Butcher, Joyce Oates. I'm not gonna read all of them, you guys. I'm just gonna tell you the colors. Uh, Rhododendron. Amanita Mushrooms, Datura, Henbane, White Oleander, Man Manchineal Tree, um, Hydrania, Belladonna, Strychnos Nux Vomica and Funnel Web Spider. Aren't they pretty? What am I going to do with them? I think a sweater. Like a, or a tee. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yes. Okay. What's that? Sorry, my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, meds are not working on this one. Um, see what else? Oh, uh, I'm planning to do the Hexi Cardi with some pals, um, Chevy, Chevy Roll stuff and, um, Aquila of Lefty Nerd Podcast. And I'm trying to decide what yarns to use, um, using the pattern, the Hexa, I think is it Hexa Granny Cardian? I don't remember what it's called by Tony Lipsy. I'm going to use her pattern. I'm thinking, I'm debating you guys, part of me is thinking I'll just do it in one color to make my life easy and I would use this Lion Brand Heartland Tweed, right? Because it would be fun pops of color, right? And then the other part of me is like Lion Brand Mandala Cake and then it would just be blue, right? This is Spirit. I save this to weave with, but I mean, could use this, right? That would be cool. I am leaning towards this though. I don't know. Or I could buy more yarn. I, I don't know. Or, or I have a shit ton of minis. <laughs> I could hold some double. That, that, that could be a thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I also have some Barocco Sesame. That could be cool. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see what happens. Um, other than that, I just have whips that I'm going to work on. I was supposed to have a quilting class yesterday and I canceled and I'm glad I did because my brain would have exploded and I would not have been able to drive home. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh. So my shoulder hurts a lot, you guys, um, when I turn. Um, I could use these, right? I don't know if I have enough. Oh, or... Oh. Or this one, Hayfield Spirit Yarn. Oh, oh. I don't know if I have enough. I might not have enough. Oh, Jesus. What else can I use? What else? Could use the rainbow yarn. Could use the rainbow yarn. Yeah. I don't know what yarn to use, you guys. Anyway, I am rambling and I need to lay down. Oh, oh, oh. I brought that in here.
forgot. <laughs> El Torres. Beetlejuice stuffs. All yours. Send me your shipping info and whatnots. Um, cinematicsgamesgmail.com. Message me on Instagram. Whichever. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Alright. Um, yells. What else? Try to remember all the things that I was forgetting. Um, oh, I tried to use this yesterday. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, does anybody have one of these, this cordsmith thing? Do you like it? Or right. does it help you? I, I found it fiddly and <laughs> I might give this away cause I find it fiddly. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I think I haven't put the bags that I want to destash on the website. I, you know, I shop by sight. So I have some bags I want to destash that I've never used. So they've just been sitting in my closet because I prefer my giant totes for my knitting and I never go anywhere. So <laughs> what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's just going to stay forgotten. I will hopefully be back in two weeks. I hope you guys have a good two weeks. Uh, I hope uh, this last Tuesday didn't bring you down. I mean, or you don't stay down, I should say. Brought me down. But I'm trying not to think about it. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's it, you guys. That's it. I can't. I can't. My brain hurts and I can't do the things today. Um I need to do a thing with my loom. All the things. My brain's not working. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys again soon. <laughs> Bye.